it's very interesting when you look at the way in which Jesus comes or uh, the way in which Isa comes in, in Islam. Islam. Because in Islam, when Isa comes, he breaks down the cross and he throws it down. He proves Christianity to be false and he wages war against the Christians. And what's interesting when we see that figure in the uh, the New Testament, in the prophecies that came 600 years before, and it's actually longer because these are hadiths, they're not actually in the Quran that says this, but it's actually longer. But he actually depicts almost exactly what the Antichrist, Antichrist. would look like. So when you have people, and it says the whole world is deceived, and when you have people that affirm specifically what the Antichrist will say, he denies the Father and the Son, when you have people that their anti or their uh, Messiah is doing the exact opposite, uh, that's a problem. And here's what's interesting. Daniel chapter 9, in that prophecy, it says that the Antichrist will come and it will be from the people who destroyed the temple. And so people will look at that and say, oh, the Romans destroyed the temple. So the, it must be, some people have said, oh, it's the Pope. Um, I, I actually disagree. They actually would have hired hands, and the people that would do that would actually be from that region of the Middle East, and many of which would eventually become the Islamic uh, regions uh, that we know today. And so when I see it all lining up, I see a Islamic Antichrist coming, and I see a false prophet it says that he looks like a lamb but speaks like a dragon. And if you know anything about Pope Francis, he fits that bill really well because the things he says are very anti what God truly says in his word. I mean, some of the things he you know, promotes and, and so forth. But he looks lately, like a lamb lately and, and speaks like a dragon. And he will affirm the Antichrist. And so what I see is in the end a movement ecumenically between a New Agers and um, you know modern Judaism and Islam and Catholicism and a lot of these things, I see them all being diluted by the Antichrist. It says he'll have great signs and wonders, which is a promise by the Mahdi, as they call it, the last Imam in Islam. Uh, he'll have all of these signs and wonders. He'll do all these things, and it will say, "Who can wage war with this guy? Like he's incredible." And that's where the mark of the beast comes in, and all of that, all of that stuff comes in. So. What I see is any the people rejecting uh, the truth, and it actually says this in Second Thessalonians that the in Second Thessalonians chapter one, it says the Antichrist will sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, and they'll see him, and he is the same one that the beast, um, the false prophet says we need people right here to get the mark of the beast to buy or sell and and so forth. And for me, I look at that and I say, these are people who have rejected the truth. And the Bible says, if they reject the truth, they're going to be given over to a lie, to believe the lie, because they've rejected over and over again the truth of God's word in order to just believe these lies that are coming.